Action it is. We're back. It's almost Christmas. December, what, 11th, 12th. Today's Saturday the 12th. We're not in lockdown, but we know what we're in. Maybe it's summer. Maybe we're watching this summer. This half hour workout, maybe for weights, okay? So we're going to do legs. Who doesn't like legs? Shoulders and some abdominalizers, okay? And biceps, sorry. We got another bicep. So I'm going to keep my phone close. Just make sure. I'm, I've already been playing, trying to get a good view on the camera, but there's no good view of this. So we're going to start with this split, split top lunge, okay? Split squat, whatever you want to call it. So we'll say 15. I have the ball there. I'm going to demo second leg with the ball. But put your foot up on something that's a little raised, right? Give me 15 high quality, good COVID reps. We'll say that's six. So driving through that heel, just trying to stay tall. I might be chopping my head off right now. Maybe this is not even recording, but I think it is. We'll see you have five more. Going four-ish, three-ish, two-ish, one. So on a lunge, you'll cut the wax just as good, but just changing it up. So if you have a ball, we can hit it this way, right? So that sinker. And a lifter, dipper, lifter. I'll tell you at the beginning <laughs> what you need for the workout. We'll start all over. No, we won't. So that's five. So you could do this foot could be on the floor, right? Whatever. Put it up on something. But you're give me a little split, split action. Ball. I could be driving it back as I sink, right? Just trying to. Drive through the heel, maintain that uber tall body. We'll see. What? Nine tenors. Me love you. Drive me through that heel. Baba waba. That number. One above that number. And then we got one fiber. So now I'm going to grab a barbell that I would have told you at the beginning to grab. So I'm going to see that we. Grabbed our barbell. So just a nice barbell curl, okay? So that lift, lift, and then all the way to full straight, pretty nice. So lift, lift, gotta make sure that we can see one another. So you're looking good, I have no idea. That's two-ish, go upper, upper. I got three ears, four-ish. Can you see in the background my uh, stained glass? I'll get out of the way, see? It's my bad, that fiery glass. On Instagram, just for the record. So there's seven going upper. I got eight ish I'm going nine. So 15 is the number. I got a 10 Jamentes going to level. So that full curl, right? 12. So all the way to straight. No swinging upper body. I'll give you two more. Dealy, dealy. So you're super strong. Rest one more. So there's our 15, so now I'm gonna get you to, we'll put it down, we'll be back with this weight for a reverse cross, but we're gonna do a little bit of bridge work. So you're gonna put your feet up on whatever, a bench, your ottoman, great if you got a ball, okay? So, you got a couple choices. I'm gonna give you the easy one. My legs straight and just pushing up and a lower, okay? So there's easy, two-ish, you want it harder, you bend your knees, place the bottom of your feet on the ball, and give me that levitation. And back down, or the bottoms of the feet on your ottoman, whatever makes you happy. But we'll do doubles right now. So lifter, and lower. We're gonna call this the warm up round. Yeah, four ish. Going by, driving the hips up, smooth. So I think hamstrings and gluters, six ish. I got seven. Here's eight-ish, going to niners, lifting for 10, light hands, right? We're not death grip on the floor. Reach your hands ceiling if you can. Cross your arms, right? Hold on to your elbows and keep them pointed to the ceiling. I'll give you two more. So that lift up and a lower up. One more, dealy, dealy. Maybe one more. Uh, looks like I'm doing all right. It's almost like I'm camera ready. It's relaxed. So we're going to pop up. 
I'm going to grab that barbell for reverse curls. So, or your dumbbells, but regardless, palms facing backwards, facing you. Okay, so super tall. We're going to give what's a good number. Same weight as regular, so maybe not 15. We'll see. Okay, that's a one. So we're going to curl elbows, stay tight to the body. That's a two-ish. Going to lift her. Lift her. I got trois. Go mustard sauce for five-ish. And then that tall, tall body. I got six in the sticks right here. Lifting, lifting for seven. Going to go upper. Upper, that's eight-ish. Here's nine. Could snow any time, hey? Would be nice. Ten. So let's call five, five more. Really working on a palms facing right now, they're facing forward. When you release down, they're facing backwards towards your tissue room. So I'll give you two more. Two more is the deal. Gonna lift, lift. I got one more. Best with us. Up, up, up. And let's get this sore to chalks. So we're gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna bring you into. Split lunge, okay. So what we went back to. So I gonna put this my foot up on something again. Here's our sinka sinka, okay. You gonna give me the dipsters? Gonna sink, sink, and lift for one. Gonna dip her. I got two ish, and again, knee wise you're the boss, okay. There's that counts. It's mobility, right? So, but whatever depth you can give me pain free. So we're gonna call that five. Go at six. Seven. Little movement is better than no movement. Okay? Alright, eight. Go at niners. Tenantes. Eleven. Twelve. Catherine, I had uh, I ate all your stuff, Captain. Shouldn't have done carved up for this workout. One more. Cookies grew, but we are work on the flatness, but it needs to be gathered. So we'll make swiggle. So that two count sinkers. So we're gonna dip her and a lift her. So whatever down is, and an upper. So this time I wasn't, I'm not using the ball again, right? So but what kind of depth can you give me? Call them five and tall. Six ish. I got seven. Eighters. Go niners. Ten and driving to that heel. Eleven. Twelve. Voila. You know that number. One above it. And then here's our fifteen. Back to your barbell curl. Okay. So grabbing that barbell. Uber tall, and just that nice two count curl. So you gotta sink up and uh, release. So from our elbows, right? You're not chucking it from your hips here. So if you're moving, you'll be able to see me if I go to the wall. Barely, but you could be here, right? Against the wall. I got mirrors, and I'm not even gonna hit the mirrors. Now make sure you're not swinging. At three, so you're the boss. But no swinging upper body all the way to straight. Five. I'm gonna miss one. Six. I got seven. Cut my head off. Eaters. I'm going nine ish. Here's tenors. Knee soft. A level. Here's twelve stairs. So you have three left, and again, how still can you be upper body wise? Knees are soft, open collarbones, one more all the way to straight, and up, up, here's our hamstrings. So you're just gonna give me that bridge. I'll give a couple options oh, for the bridge or rule again, right? So we'll kick back. Whatever you use in the bench, ottoman, coffee table, fireplace, you know, whatever. Here's better, but very diplomatic. So a couple, again, the straighter your legs are, okay, on something, a little bit easier. You know, you're gonna get the height, so there you, you choose. 
So go up, up, down, down. I'm gonna give you a what? Three more of these. Just making sure we have view here. Two more. So one more. You wanna make this harder? How about a single leg? Pick one and give me an up, up, and a back down for one. Go lift, lift, and I got two. See, go lift. Okay, here we are. So next part is gonna be some, a start squat, okay? We're gonna do some hamstring curls, so maybe a plastic bag if you don't have a ball. But uh, moving into start squat, with or without a weight. I'm gonna demo without a weight to start, okay? So you pick a leg, you don't like a start squat, I'll take a regular squat, I'm very diplomatic. So two count sink, hands wherever you want them, you hold them one, if you hold the weight I'm standing on my left, I hold in my right hand, so you're a dipper. Dipper and a lift for one. So you're the boss on the depth here. That's a two-ish. Gonna sink, sink, really after free leg, that's three. So no, I'm not trying to touch the floor with my toes on that free leg. I got a five or something like this one. Gonna dipper, dipper, that's six. Gonna sinker, sinker, seven, yo. Gonna dipper, eight-ish, same magic. Going for niners. Ten of them. What's the sauce for level? It's called 12, so you give me three more. Weight, no weight, very choice driven. Hold that freebie up, that's my right leg back there, staying up one more. And it's relax, so we'll make swiggle. Same but different, two count dipper rippers. So you're gonna sinker, sinker and a little left. So dipster, dipster and that's two-ish. I got three, and again, just trying to push some weight into the heel of the foot, right? We're not trying to collapse the arch of your foot. You need to track in the middle of your foot. See, that's five. I got a Seasters. Seven. Going eighters. Here's nine-ish. Teners, five more. Going eleven. Hola, there's 12. Go, Mustard, go. Unlucky, so two more. Best for last, right here, guys. So now we're gonna use that barbell again for just a short stint of rowing. So I'm gonna say palms face backwards, like your reverse curl. Making sure I got some good formal. Bum out, chest up. Bring that ball a little. Gonna pull, mid back squeeze. And then I release for one. I'm gonna pull, pull, and release for two. I had a three years, so bum out, chest up for four. Fivers. Once you feel the form's good, let's pick up the tempo. Lift, pull, pull. Head still right. As you draw, you're not jamming the head forward. I'll give you eight left. Seven, six, five ish, four. Two, one, and you guys get the chop. So we get rid of this. Now this is where I give a couple of demos here. We do some hamstrings. So if you don't have a ball, okay? I got a little disc here. You may really see me. So my feet won't be on my mat. Put my feet on those discs. Could be a plastic bag on like lino or a hardwood laminate. So I'm gonna just make this. I'm gonna push out, straighten, and pull. Okay, so we do one and draw the other. If this was a bag, right? Bag's gonna be hard and it's hard to get all the way out. So I should really have my heels on and drag them in, right? So you're gonna push and pull. Keeping the butt up. So that's if you got a bag. Or these little slidey discs. Something that's gonna slide. Plastic lid, right? You're looking for a uh, plastic lid, it'll slide great on, on hardwood. And then if you do have a ball, we're here. And all it is is out and a pull. So that push and a draw. So either way, okay? On all you're after is 15. 15 rapper rudels. Open up the atmosphere. Look, it's a stretch right now, not really. Pull, we strengthen. Go lengthen and a draw. 
So we'll see that's seven. Going with eighters. Here's nine-ish. And if you had that amount of this, you give me back the bridging and maybe go to single leg five more. So that's one. Two-ish is 12. And then 10 plus three is, you know that number. And then you got one above that number, which is 10 plus four. And then this is 15 right here. You need the chillax. And now you need one dumbbell, okay? So we've done your rowing. We're gonna grab our dumbbell doodle doodles. So it's for a shoulder press. So you pick that uh, single dumbbell you want to use for a shoulder press. Oh, this one right here. Right? So I need, we're going to start this out. So uber tall, I'm holding in my right hand. I'm going to stand on my left leg. So this goes, I'm going to hit a stork. I keep the dumbbell on my shoulder. I stand up, I keep my balance, and I give me a shoulder press. I call that a one. So you're going to stork, stork, and then come back up. Let me give me a push. That's two. Do a stork, stork. Bring that back up. And press. That's three. So you're going to go one, two. I'm returning. And I press. That's four. So you're going to go one, two. And I return. And I press. That's five. You go one. And I return. And I press. That's six. So you're just working that little bit of balance, right? And that left for seven. So we're gonna go one, two, we just pull it up, that's eight. Same magic, we're gonna go one, two, and now return it, that's a niners. So we're gonna go one, two, working that balance on that foot. We're gonna go one up, two up, and I'll return it a press. One more, we're gonna go one, and return, and guys, we're gonna mix swivel. So the same but different, we're gonna move this barbell. So the other side for me right here. So left hand stand on my right leg. So we're gonna start, give me a one, two, and then return it up, press, and I got one. So we're gonna go one, two, return from this door, get a press, and that's two. Go to one, two, and return it up, press, that's three. Go to one, two, return, and a press, that's four. Go to one, two, I return it up, press, that's fivers. Go to one, two, and I press, and that's sixers. Go to one, two, and I return, and I press, that's seven, all lost my balance there. Go to one, return, press, that's eight, so give me four more pretty please. One up, and I return it up, press, and I'm at three up. Go to one up, and I return it up. Press, so I got two more. Go to one, and I press. One more, dealy dealy. And then I drive, and then I need both dumbbells. What you're gonna use for like a side raise, okay? So both dumbbells for a side raise, the legs up. So you really tall, and then I'll wrap to soft knees. So you're gonna lift, lift, and that's one, okay? So you go up, up, up. That's two. Do all kinds of things. You want to stand on one leg, leg up three. Gonna lift her, lift her. I got four ish. Gonna one, two for fivers. So I'm gonna give you, here's six, we're gonna call halfway. So from here, we're gonna go to the floor, seven into a side plank, okay? So you're gonna pick, you're gonna decide what side you wanna do. Or if the shoulder's not that great for side planking, you're gonna give me just a regular plank because we're gonna roll through a regular plank. So two more, we're gonna go one, two, one more. And you get to chillax. So, picking your side plank, okay? So I can see you, sure. So, elbow, shoulder, straight line. I drive up. So by all means, you can be off your knees. My knees are in line with my, definitely not in front of my fist here, okay? My fist is facing forward. You're gonna go on your feet, right there. So reaching up, driving up, we hold, I'll give you five, this is short, four, three, set that shoulder, two, you roll into a regular plank for me. So holding right there, driving, and again, we could be right here. You could be off your knees, right? So, mean scoop of the tailbone, driving the chest to ceiling, so we're gonna pivot to that other side. So whether again, that's off your knees, there I just went on my knee and a left, or 
you're off this side of your feet, okay? You choose. So driving up. I'm gonna hold you. So we'll say five is again short. Four, three, two. Roll back to the middle. We're gonna hold for four. We're gonna roll side to side again. Three, two-ish. So ready, pivot back to that first side for me. So up, up, up. Knees or side of the feet. Drive those hips. So five-ish. Four, three, two, one. Back to the middle. Hold. So this is short, not a big chunk of work here. Driving. Maybe you're just holding in the middle, right? Last side. Ready? Hit it. So up, up, up. Hand up. Drive the hips. Bottom side's working. So I'll give you five, four-ish, three. Okay, just getting set up here. So I got some pillows. Miracle TV. So we're just going to do a little bit of mobility work for your shoulder, right? Call this like a Zynga fest. So I just make sure you can see me. So my elbow, I'm right on my shoulder, laying on my side. This is good for anybody's shoulder, okay? So 90, straight out from your shoulder. It can fall to the floor, more open than 90, backwards. Okay, I got a pillow for my head. So I want to go, there's my wrist. Whatever you want to call this, you're not going to the hand when you're on the actual arm yourself with the arm on top. And I want you to press down gently. Okay, I'm not dragging my arm forward. Mary, maybe we're doing this. Catherine, you should be doing this. Karen, this is a good one for you. This is like a little capsule stretch, okay? So gentle down, hold it for three, two, one, then we let it go, and let it go backwards. So pain-free, should be pain-free back here. And then we'll bring it back up, and we're gonna do it again. So that press down, and I'm not dragging my arm forward, right, my upper arm. I'm pressing my forearm down towards the floor for a little stretch. It should come down your arm somewhat, okay, not up into your neck. And then we'll release and go backwards. We hold it, that's not counting. And we're gonna do it once more, bring it back up, and we'll press down. So the same magic show right here, going, going. And then we're gonna let it off. So good for anybody's shoulder, just for the record. Unless you just had, you know, shoulder replacement surgery. Then we, we should be doing something else, just for the record. So we mix swivel. Is that a better view? Maybe. Okay. So I'm straight out from my shoulder, my pillow, okay? I can go backwards easily. I'm pressing on my forearm towards the floor, not dragging my elbow. It's pretty easy to let my arm see how it's going forward. So try and keep the arm stationary, as in the upper arm, okay? And press down, I'm tighter, way tighter on the side. There's definitely a difference between my two sides, so I should be hitting this a little bit more. And I was rolling backwards, okay, away from my shoulder, which I was cheating. And then release it and go back. Making sure that we can see this well, okay? So now, let's bring it back up. I'm gonna try and keep it stationary. Look at that pathetic range. Way better on my left than what this is on my right. So really, I should be hitting this. This will be a regular, okay? In our uh, sessions on YouTube and in class, when classes resume to normal. And then we're gonna go back. Look, we should have a contest, see whose range gets better. Everybody should get better, because I can't see what you're doing. So that press down, relaxing, trying to keep the weight, see I was rolling back again because it's not very comfortable, but it is good for me. And then let's release, and it looks like I'm putting a lot of pressure, I'm not. So let's do one more, even though this is four and it's one more on the other side, it's good for me. So that press down, okay, and my elbow really wants to come forward, but I'm not letting it, and I really want to roll backwards. Don't roll backwards. And then release. So there's a little bit of sh shoulder mobility. Let's just whip into a hamstring stretch. So I got a strap. I'm not the most flexible person. Unbelievably, I know. So I strap up a towel, whatever. Three leg and go straight out on the floor. I just draw in. I'm gonna pull in, I'm gonna put my elbows on the floor. 
after I look at my phone and see, you know, that I look like a ballerina. So I'm working hard on getting that leg straight, but I got a good stretch right now on my hamstring. And I'm just going to breathe. So we did planking, abs will be in the next video, okay? Which will be tomorrow because I got to recover. And I have to clean the studio, just for the record. So pulling, drawing your toes towards you, flex your foot. Reaching your heel to the ceiling. So we'll say what's a good number. Let's go 10 from here. Nine-ish. Eaters. Maybe you don't need a pillow. I need a pillow for my noggin, okay? Otherwise my head would be up because it would be too uncomfortable. Should be comfortable head-wise, neck-wise. Take this leg, give me a cross for a bum stretch. So that dry, you got a couple choices. You don't want to pull in, you can put your foot down and push out here if you want. So that's my right leg. I would push with my right hand and maybe you get a hip, little hip stretch, okay? But I'm comfortable doing this. So I'm in my tusharunals right here. You can even put your foot up on something. I could grab that ball and put my foot, my free foot up in the air here, up in the ball. Breathing. Then hanging out. Know, just unlassoing my foot. Getting ready for the last on the other side. Chillaxing. So you guys, let's swiggle side. So we'll uncross. I want you to all, whatever, however you want. Hold the leg straight up. Maybe you need nothing. And if you're super flexible in your hamstrings, maybe you don't really. Maybe you should just be working on hamstring strength. Some of us, Leah, right? A little too flexible. I don't fall into that category just yet. Soon, though, I'm feeling that. I'm building my flexibility daily. I'm almost touching a wall behind me, I think, with my foot. It feels like it. Almost look like Gumby. So, drawing in and just holding. And I give a little bit more pull. I'm trying not to, if you're holding something, you're trying not to get your shoulders up in your ears, right? Or relax. And who knows, maybe even marrying hitting this. Okay, and not feeling that it's necklicious. And then you guys take that leg, give me a cross, and then however you want to stretch out your tush, okay? So I'm grabbing, but whatever makes you happy. That funky bruise right there, I just noticing. I'm not in shorts often. Hey, telling you. 40, 40 is a tough age getting older. I don't know if anybody out there else is 40. I know you can't tell I'm, I'm not quite 40 this year. January 2nd was Williams Lake's first uh, New Year's baby back in 1980, just for the record. And then from here, we're going to, if you have an unlassoed, let's just do a quick quad stretch because we did do some, you got a couple of choices, and this is good for your hips actually. So we could sit here like so and give me a little pull back, right? Opening up, there's a quad stretch, keeping the knee off the floor. I've dug my toes in, my heels off up here, and I'm drawing backwards. Doesn't have to be a massive stretch, okay? You're gonna see my sad hip mobility in a second. So I should be able to do this with no hands, but assembly. So now, can you make the switch to the other side? So it would be like this. So, so, so I'm here like this, okay? So to the other side, I should be able to do that with no hands, but so it would be this action right here, okay? This is good for us with no hands. That's just you and your hip mobility, okay? Back and forth, no handing it, but I'm handing it. So other side, okay, I drag that back. I dig my toes in, I flex my foot heel off. Maybe there's a pull, maybe there isn't. So that's about, I'm not sure exactly, let's see. Probably 10, 20, 40 minutes. Right, maybe. So we'll hit chest, triceps, some abdominalizers tomorrow. Okay, maybe a little bit of, well, the next video, whatever day that might be. And there's our quad stretch. So I'm gonna leave you seated. You can finish with that. Lotus, I'm gonna put my feet up when I'm off the, off the video right here. I'm gonna cross my feet up top like this. Both of them, but I don't wanna brag about my flexibility. Okay, till next time. Chat at you later.